Welcome to Physical Education 8, Team Sports. For our first lesson, it would be the components of and different tests for physical fitness. Our today's agenda. Identify the different physical fitness components. Identify the different physical fitness components present in different sports. Compute one's body mass index and perform the physical fitness test. All progress takes place outside the comfort zone by Michael John Boback, digital artist. So let us all progress outside our comfort zone by doing the different physical fitness tests and doing some physical activities. For our first lesson, it would be about the physical fitness. What is physical fitness? It is the ability of the body to do day-to-day -day activities without undue fatigue or yung mga ginagawa mo yung mga araw, pang araw-araw mong gawain ng hindi ka napapagod and still has to do some leisure activities and meet emergencies. So when you're physically fit and you are also physically active, so mahaba yung endurance ng katawan mo, nakakatagal siya sa maraming trabaho. So these are the different physical fitness components. Under the physical fitness, we have two branches. We have the health-related and skill-related. Under the health-related, we have the body composition, cardiovascular endurance, flexibility, muscular strength, muscular endurance. For skill-related, we have speed, agility, balance, power, coordination, reaction time. Let us talk about first the different health-related fitness components. For our first component, it would be body composition. Body composition is the proportion of fat and non-fat mass in your body. A healthy body composition is one that includes a lower percentage of body fat and a higher percentage of non-fat mass, which includes muscle, bones, and organs. As we go on with the lesson and for your first test for Physical Education 8, you will get your BMI so that you could know the percentage of non-fat and body fat in your body. And then you can categorize yourself if you are underweight, normal, overweight, or obese. Cardiovascular endurance. It is the ability of the heart, lungs, and blood vessels to deliver oxygen to your body tissues without becoming overly tired. So one good example of cardiovascular endurance is running and aerobics. Flexibility is the ability of the joints to move beyond their normal range of motion. An example of sports which shows flexibility is gymnastics. Muscular strength refers to the amount of force a muscle can produce with a single maximal effort. One good example of sport of muscular strength is weight lifting. Muscular endurance. It is the ability of a muscle or group of muscles to sustain repeated contractions against a resistance for a long period of time. One good example is doing some push-ups. Let's go now to our next branch, skill-related fitness components. Our first component, it would be speed. It is the ability of the body to move fast from one point to another in the shortest possible time. As you can see on the picture on the right, there is a man carrying a baton and running fast. The, the, the sport is baton relay. Agility. It is the ability to move in a sudden change of direction and body position quickly. As you can see in the sport ba basketball, agility is widely used by different players.
Balance. It is the ability to maintain equilibrium even when moving. So as you can see in the picture, it is a gymnast in a balance beam. Coordination. The ability to use the senses and body parts to perform tasks smoothly, efficiently, and accurately. So coordination is widely used in a lot of sports, in almost all, all of the sports. And as you can see in the picture, a man playing tennis is using his different senses and body parts to hit the ball. Power. The ability to exert a maximal force in the shortest time possible, as in accelerating, jumping, and throwing implements. As you can see in the picture, it is a sport called discus throwing. Reaction time refers to the speed at which a person's body responds to an external stimulus. One good example of sport in which reaction time is shown is the sport baseball as you can see in the picture the player is about to hit a ball so let's go now to the different physical fitness test so we're going to do different kinds of physical fitness tests every week for week one it's BMI and 3-minute test step test. For number 2, basic plank, 40-meter sprint, push-up, stick drop test, sit and reach. And week number 3, we will do hexagon agility test, juggling, standing long jump, stork balance, and zipper test. So we will be choosing only, uh, only some of the physical fitness tests that you can do at home. So this is the physical fitness test score sheet. So I will be giving this to you in the Google Classroom so you can have, uh, you can copy it in your notebook or you can have it printed and paste it in your notebook. So let's now compute for our body mass index. Body mass index is a value derived from the mass or weight and height of a person. The BMI is defined as the body mass divided by the square of the body height and is universally expressed in units of kilogram per meter squared, resulting from, a mass, from mass in kilograms and height in meters. So this is the formula in computing the body mass index. You need to get your weight in kilograms, so you need a weighing scale. So you also need to get to get your height in meters. So you need um tawag dun medida, okay, to get your height. So I have here an example. The weight is 30 and the height is 1.20 or 120 centimeters. To get them um, in meters, you just need to move the decimal point to your left, two decimal places to your left. So it would uh, meters. Uh, the height would be 1.20 meters. So you need the square of that. And then the example of uh, you can see in the example the 30 divided by 1.44, the result would be 20.83. So how do you analyze the result? So this is the BMI classification. So based on your result, so if your result is below 18.5, you're wasted. So if your result is 18.5 to 24.9, you're normal. If your result is 25.0 to 29.9, you're overweight. For 30.0 to 39.9, you're obese. And 40 and above is extremely obese. So as you get, there is, as you get your result, result of your BMI, you can classify yourself if you're wasted, normal, overweight, obese, or, or extremely obese. So you can plan if you need a lot of exercise, you need to eat uh, eat less, eat healthy foods, okay? You do a lot of physical activities, especially uh, in our time today na lahat tayo ay nasa bahay, so wala masyado tayong ginagawa. So uh, hal halos lahat tayo ay tumataba. Yeah, ganun talaga. So we need to do a lot of physical activity to have to be on the normal classification of BMI. 
The three minute step test. Ito madalas na tong ginagawa dito sa ating school since nung grade 7 kayo. So the three minute step test equipment. The first one would be the step. So the height of the step would be uh, at least 12 inches. So kung yung may hagdan kayo or upuan na pwedeng tuntungan, pwede na siguro yun. Yung, katam, yung up, height ng upuan is yung katamtaman lang. And then of course, yung stopwatch, meron kayo nito sa cellphone nyo. Drum, clapper, metronome with speaker or any similar device. In doing the 3 minute step test, you need to have a partner. So your partner could be anyone from your family or your friend or your neighbor. So for the first one, for yourself or the performer, you need to locate your resting pulse and in 5 seconds start to get the heart rate. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. So how do you get your pulse? There are two ways to get your pulse. So you need first one, you need to place your index finger and your middle finger on your wrist below your thumb. So press it and then you can feel your pulse already. The second one would be on your ear, in below your ear, below your jawbone, on your neck, pressed, and then you can feel the pulse already. So in in feeling or counting or doing the pulse or getting your pulse pulse, you need to uh, st avoid talking so that you can feel the pulse and count it. Ca count the pulse beat for 10 seconds and then multiply it by 6. Next would be stand at least 1 foot away from the step or bench with trunk erect and eyes looking straight ahead. The first step of the sequence should be alternate. At the signal go, step up and down at the step or bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 96 beats per minute. One step consists of 4 beats that is up with the left or right foot count 1, up with the right or left foot that would be count 2, down with the left or right foot count 3, down with the left or right foot count 4, and observe proper breathing. Inhale with the nose, exhale through the mouth. Immediately after the exercise, stand and relax. Locate again your pulse and in 5 seconds start to get the heart rate. Don't talk while taking the pulse beat. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. This time, the result would be your active pulse rate. So in your notes, you, have to ha you need to have the resting pulse rate and your active pulse rate. For the partner, as the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal ready and go. Start the stopwatch for the 3 minute step test. After the test, allow the performer to locate his or her pulse in 5 seconds. Give the signal to count the pulse beat. Let the performer count his or her pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. So for scoring, you, you need to record the 60 second heart rate after the activity. We are now at the end of our slide. So for your task number 1, you need to get or compute for your BMI. For your task number 2, you need to do the 3 minute step test. And your, for your task number 3, you need to jot down the important details found in this video. So thank you and have a great day. Be fit and active even though we are at home.